What's good YouTube, it's your boy Kobe J and I'm about to show y'all how I flipped a V6 to a V8 Hemi by using Copar. By, by reselling my car, flipping it, and buying another car and just- Hey, that ain't going back! Hey, that ain't normal! That is not normal! I'm off that full What's good YouTube, it's your boy Kobe J and I'm about to show y'all how I flipped a V6 to a V8 Hemi by using Copar. By, by reselling my car, flipping it, and buying another car in just a span of two weeks, I'm about to show y'all how to make money real quick. This is called Mopar Method. <laughs> So what you want to do, you can get on your phone, computer, anything you want and just type in copart.com. Now, I know some of y'all be saying like, bro, I don't want no broken car, bro. I don't want no broken car. But bro, if you know how to fix your car up, you know how to fix your car up, bro. What we're going to do, we're going to go something simple. I'm going to show y'all real quick what I did. I went to copart and I typed in Dodge Charger SE. You feel me? And this what popped up. The black Dodge Charger SE that popped up. At first, they was talking about $10,000. Come on, bro. $10,000. Nobody even bid it on it. So I went and just put $4,000 just to see what I can do. And I got it. I had got it for I had got it for $5,000. I didn't record that part, but I got it for $5,000. And I bid it $4,000. And when I looked on the app, it was $5,000. So I got the car. I pulled up to get the car. And right away, I went customize the car just to give it some upgrades, you know. Just to give it some upgrades. So after I got the car. I went back to Copart. I enjoyed the car for like a good little, uh, little something, something. So then I went back to Copart and sold the car. And I'm about to show y'all how to sell y'all car. All you want to do is go here, press sell your car. My car was 2016. Get my offer. Dodge Charger. SE. Guys, the car that I had was a salvage title, so I'm gonna just put salvage. All right, y'all, another thing, sometimes Copar will value your car low, but if you know your set price for your car, make sure you go to other apps like OfferUp, Facebook Market, stuff like that. What I did was I left Copar, and because they tried to value my car at 5,000 when I bought it for 5,000 already. So I'm not doing that, bro. We are not doing that. So what I did was, what I did was so, I don't know if y'all can see that, but 2016 Dodge Charger SXT sedan. I sold it for 9,500, well really 10,000, you can say 10,000. I sold it for 10,000 and look, look how I upgraded the car, bro. Look, <laughs> I made it look like a Hellcat, you feel me? I made it look like one. It really wasn't one, but I made it look like one just to get a resale. But I told everybody it's still a V6. At the end of the day, you still gonna be rocking a V6. So we got a sale on the car. We pulled up to the dude and this how it went. Go man, say goodbye to the demon. Huh. Is that what shit now? Yeah. All right, child, bro. I'm about to show y'all something funny. So the car that I sold, the dude who bought it, like, not even a couple days after he bought it, he wrecked it. He wrecked the car. And I had insurance on the car. He calling me by insurance. I'm like, bro, I sold you the car. Whatever you did with it, that's on you, bro. So we lucked up. Well, I ain't going to say we lucked up. He just was out of luck. All right, y'all. I'm just showing y'all what I did when I got my car. I already have my car outside. I type in Charger Daytona and just went through the cars. I went through all the cars and I found my red Daytona. But what it was is the car didn't have a front and back bumper on my Daytona. So what I had to do was just buy, what I had to do was buy the V6 front and back bumper, but the engine's still V8, you know? So we bought the red car. We got that for 15,000. So 4,000 flip. I bought the car for 4,000, the black Dodge Charger. We sold it for 10. So that's profit 6K right there. So then, the RT was 15,000. So all I had to do was put a little extra money towards that. But we got the car and it's mine now, you feel me? So that's the route we went, bro. We went Copar, Facebook method. Bro, this is real easy to flip a car, bro. Like I'm literally about to buy a car right now. Let's see, a upcoming lot. Let me just show y'all, bro. For one of the upcoming lots, what I do. Let me work. Upcoming lot on this red Dodge S16. Let's see what's wrong with it. The only thing that's wrong, bro, fix the back bumper. Fix the back, probably get the whole back. And this only like $600, bro. So we finna put a bid on this. 
We can really bid this for 4000 bro, just quick. All right, y'all. Hopefully, I explained it right, but y'all watch my videos more so I can show y'all, break down y'all in the detail, because I will be buying more cars from Copart after we... No, I'm not even going to say after we upgrade the car we got now. So, whatever car I get, I will show y'all how to upgrade them. So, y'all just stay tuned on Copart with the Mopar method with Kobe J, bro. All right, y'all. After... Long weeks, days, hours, we finally got the car, man. Shout out. Hey, push, push the gas one time. All right, let's press the gas. Hey, that ain't normal. That is not normal. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kobe J, and I'm back with another banger. Y'all already know how the video is going, man. Stop playing. Y'all for 300k, bro. Let's get out. I'm a great job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm off that follow Y'all already know how the video be going, man. I ain't gonna say we got technical difficulties, but we just getting my car like a little two week checkup, you know? Every two weeks. The dealership asked me just to come to the dealership, make sure your car good. I got a lifetime warranty on my car. I was not playing, bro. Bro, I might go get a wide body, bro. A wide body on the RT gonna be crazy, bro. But look at all these cars, bro. Like, bro, these cars are so nice, bro. This look like exactly like Runic Hellcat, but just with 392, bruh. I'm about to bring my car for services so I can get checked. They're gonna have my car for like three, four days. So no car content for a little bit, guys. But we're gonna get back to it once we get the car. So I'll get back to you. All right, y'all. So I'm leaving the dealership right now. And they told me come back Monday. So I actually had a leak in my coolant. Crazy, cause bruh, the day I left the dealership, like by the night, my car was leaking coolant, bro. That that shouldn't have nothing to do with me, bro, at all, bro. And I'm glad I got a warranty. Like, as soon as I leave the dealership, that would happen. Like, come on now, y'all. But we gonna get right, bro. They gonna make sure everything back fixed, bro. Cause I got this lifetime. I got this deluxe warranty. So, if anything, yeah, y'all gonna get that fixed, bro. So y'all stay tuned. We finna pull up to the crib. I'm gonna let y'all hear this. Alright y'all, I'm finally putting my car in the dealership, bruh. They finna take over it, man. I'm off that full logo. Paddle shift king, bro. Traction off. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. All right, y'all. After long weeks, days, hours, we finally got the car, man. Shout out. Really? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Just, just stay tuned with the car process. Pull it up to Auto Nation, man. We finna get the car. You know, let Daytona shit. Look, it's over there. I ain't gonna show y'all until we really get it. So y'all stay tuned. We finna finish this paperwork and get the car. I'm off that full logo. All right, y'all. After long weeks, days, hours, we finally got the car, man. Shout out Auto Nation. Really? What did it say? What did it say? Get up. Sorry, so is the code.
this is this is gonna be a big project. Y'all already know how we do with the cars, man. Y'all wanna hear how that motherfucker sound? Y'all see we whipping the RT Daytona, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all y'all gotta hear this, man. Alright y'all, I'm about to get y'all a quick little, little burn out in a little pool before we, uh, you feel me? Let me turn the traction off real quick. We in sport mode. Put it in sport. I ain't gonna lie y'all, I'm loving this car, bro. Y'all just watch this, watch this real quick. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Let's see, let's see. Stay tuned because we got a lot to work on with this car, bro. We got a lot to work on, bro. I might go downtown and do burnout so y'all can see outside the POV part. All right, y'all. I told y'all I work fast, bro. We fresh off the lot with the red key and we already getting the hood just like removed, bro. Y'all already know we got Naja in the car. Naja, hey. <laughs> bumper right here, y'all. We're going to go scat pack bumper. Oh, shit, my car. So we're going to go scat pack bumper. I'm going to get the snorkel. You know, we're going to get the snorkel and shit. We're going to go this snorkel. We was going to get the SRT one, but we're going to wait. That's Dillo right there. Dillo done pulled up. But y'all stay tuned, bro. I'm going to show y'all the new product. Just look how the front look, though. Look how the front look, bro. And this glows up. I didn't even realize this glows up. So I don't know if I want to switch it, bro. But y'all, when I tell y'all, I was on the road for like 20 minutes and this car is so fast, bro. Like for real, bro. I'm I'm really dogging the cat. Yeah. Yup, y'all, just say goodbye to the bumper we met 20 minutes ago. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. Y'all see, we just got the hood installed, bro. I was not playing. As soon as I get the car, bro, we straight customized, bro. Let's see. Let's go. It's the little scat pack. We beat any scat pack hood, bro. Hey, look. We're here to end it, though. Hold on. Hold on. I say this motherfucker slap. Stay tuned though, bro. Look at this bitch, bro. You can't steal them rims. Them bitches got that the custom, custom that spice. Don't fuck with that. Look, rev that bitch one time, Elijah. Rev that bitch. <laughs> rev that one time. Let me. Uh. Uh. About to do my muffler delete. You yeah. say about 45 minutes? Uh, around, around 45. Okay. Okay. I told y'all. <laughs>